Hold a candle flame on a balloon and watch while it doesn't pop. You'll need balloons, a cake candle, water, a children's medicine syringe, an adult. First, let's test it. Blow up a balloon like so. Light a candle and hold the flame to it. It pops. Now, do it again, but this time pour a little bit of water into your deflated balloon. Use the syringe to do this, or you can fill it up directly from the tap. Blow up the balloon, tie it up. Hold a flame so it touches the bottom of the balloon, where the water is. Why isn't it popping? When heat hits the balloon with the water, the water absorbs all the heat, protecting the balloon. The balloon without water bursts because air doesn't absorb heat as well as water. If you put the flame to a different part of the balloon where it's just air, pop! This shows that different materials have different heat capacities. Engines in cars and trains can get very hot, but knowing the science behind heat capacity allowed engineers to come up with a simple solution, water. Rail engineers even designed trains to use water as a coolant because it's so good at absorbing heat. Next time a car overheats, you'll know what to do.